Welcome back everyone to another brand new video today. Over the past few months I've uploaded very specific videos about Google Ads, Facebook Ads and things like that but today we're going to be discussing drop shipping and how in one year I went from naught to 2.7 million dollars in sales just from drop shipping. So this is going to be like a mini case study, little story and show you how I went and grew what was my drop shipping business to a 2.7 million dollar a year brand. Now if we just hop over to the computer here the time frame we're actually going to be looking at today is going to be June of 2022 to June of 2023. Now you might be wondering, okay, why are we not looking at the last year, for example? Well, over the last year, I've sort of shifted away from drop shipping as the brand has grown. I mean, if we quickly do the last 365 days here, you'll see the revenue is significantly higher, but the period we're going to be discussing 2022 to 2023 is a year full of drop shipping, whereas now most orders are fulfilled in the country of sale. So for this brand here, most of my items are still stocked in the US. So I want to go back to the basics, talk about drop shipping and then you can quickly see here last 365 days, you know, we're almost double at what the other period is. So the first thing I do want to discuss is going to be the product. If you're a past viewer, you may know I had experience and ran a women's clothing brand. This was extremely profitable, but not all year round. So for example, one summer would be very profitable because certain bikinis were very trendy, for example. And then, you know, the following winter would be really quiet, but then there's no guaranteed, for example, the next summer to be very busy because trends in women's clothing change all the time. And I just couldn't really rely on any consistency with that brand. So it did gradually die out as sort of lockdown and things like that came to an end. And throughout those couple of years of ups and downs, I did sort of say to myself, okay, we really need to start focusing on an evergreen product that has demand all year round. And it's a product that people need all year round. And that's sort of what led me into growing in my experience with Google Ads further. Uh, if we just hop over to Google Ads here, you can see we've got the same period, June 2022 to June 2023. You can see we spent a total of £427,000 on Google Ads. This is sort of five fifty six hundred thousand dollars dollars at a 3.14 ROAS, which is incredibly profitable for this business. And just to sort of prove that I focused and put my attention into an evergreen product, you can see that even in this, you know, one to two years ago, most campaigns I have that I used back then are still running now. You can see there are, if I just select them here, 10 campaigns that I used one to two years ago are still running now for this business, extremely profitable. So it just goes to show you sort of once you do find and grow your brand with an evergreen product or evergreen uh, niche or group of products, it's not a set and forget type thing. You do have to consistently manage your Google ads campaigns because things are always changing, but it just goes to show even now in 2024, that I'm still spending money on the same campaigns and they're just still as profitable as they were sort of two years ago. Now, a great way to find an evergreen product if that's something you're currently struggling with is just use Google Keyword Planner tool or the Google Trend tool. Start coming up and thinking of ideas of certain products. Perhaps you can just look around your home and see what products are in your home that you use every day. Go on Google Keyword Planner or Google Trends and you'll be able to see the average monthly search demand. So a great example here, I've just put in chopping board. You can see 18,000 average monthly search Searches. This is for the United Kingdom, but you can see there's no sort of drastic up and down sort of trend with this particular product. Yes, it goes slightly up and down here, but if you look at the volume, it's all pretty much consistent throughout the entire year. Whereas a trendy product, obviously, for example, like a Christmas jumper, if we just show you the difference here, you can just see the completely different trend and the massive spike, obviously, in December. And this is basically me suggesting don't bother with seasonal product. If you've got a brand and you've already got an existing brand, then Seasonal products can be good just for a boost of revenue every now and then, but it's not something you want to build your entire brand around because for 90% of the year, you're going to attract very little traffic and very little sales. So if you do want a dedicated product research video for drop shipping, you know, beginners, then please do leave a comment down below. I'll happily make that my next video. Okay, now back to the original sort of story, if you like. Throughout this year of the $2.7 million in sales, the way it went is I found these evergreen products. I started to advertise on Google, you know, thankfully for me it works straight away but for a lot of people it doesn't with google ads but again it all depends on things like your website your landing page and thankfully from my prior experience for running other brands it allowed me to sort of know what worked well in terms of displaying a product on a website to make it look good and things like that so it was incredibly important for me to sort of sit there i remember sort of six weeks before i launched this i spent six entire weeks just making sure the website was fast running smoothly no errors with it and it was the most optimized and clean 
cleanest looking website I could possibly make. And that is why from the get go, this was profitable. And a lot of people with drop shipping, as you know, and you, you know, you might be one of them, you might put a store together in a day or two and just expect it to make money. And that just isn't going to work in 2024. So as the months went by early on, a few products sort of clearly stood out as my best sellers. Now, what we then did from that is started focusing our attention onto these products. Classic case of the 80-20 rule, 20% 20 of my products sort of accounted for 80% of my revenue. So we put a lot of focus on these best sellers. We started to customize them. We started to think about US fulfillment. We only sort of really started US fulfillment towards the end of this year, but it's something we knew we needed to progress with to build the trust and reliability of our brand. And a good point to make here, the reason drop shippers don't sort of last long with a business or a store is because they don't care about their customers. They just cared about making a quick buck or two over a few weeks sort of period, and then they don't care if that store then gets shut down or the payment provider gets suspended. And that's something you don't want to deal with long term. You know, thankfully for me, and I'm not bragging when I say this, I'm using it as a point to sort of, you know, prove that I've not had any PayPal hold, no Shopify payment hold issues or high chargeback rates or anything. And that just shows the importance of building a brand because if you build a trusted brand, you're not going to face these issues every day dropshippers face. So make your customers your main point of focus and that will all lead into sort of every everything else and make things run as smoothly as possible, giving them the best experience, giving them the best product, customer service as you possibly can. And a great example of development from dropship into a real business is someone I watch, you probably know him, Davey Fogarty, the owner of the Udi brand and Carmen Blankets before the Udi. A great example is he didn't necessarily start with dropshipping for the Udi. I remember him saying in one of his videos, he bought a bunch of stock from China, you know, didn't make any customizations to the products, didn't sort of sample the product, check them properly. He had orders to fulfill so he just bought a bunch of stock in and since that moment every year or even every few months i assume they constantly now develop their product to make it the best on the market and that is the reason the brand udi still performs you know multi tens of millions of dollars a year despite cheaper alternatives being sold on literally every other website and shop it is because they've built a brand the best product in that niche and it's all down to davy you know putting his focus and attention on okay the end product the customer experience and the dedication to his customers to make sure they keep coming back so the point i'm trying to make here is drop shipping is incredibly good for starting out because it's as we all know low startup capital good way to get cash flowing but if you want long-term success with e-commerce and you're starting with drop shipping you don't need to rush and build a brand but have that focus in the front of your mind with every decision you make because if we go back to shopify here you can see going from 2.7 million dollars in a year from 2022 to 2023 to 5.1 million dollars a year in the last year we're on track to do even more over the next 12 months and again i can't stress it enough and i've said it in all my videos and apologies if it is getting boring drop shipping to start low cost incredible but focus on building a brand because you won't have a cheap drop shipping store last three four five plus years if you want to sell your business in five ten years time people aren't going to pay top dollar for a nasty looking drop shipping store no matter the numbers it's doing brands hold value brands have loyal customers brands have good back-end structure like email lists email marketing and all those sorts of things I know this has been a bit of a shorter video than normal but I just thought it was very important to make and put the point across that brand is so important drop shipping is incredible to start with and if you want any more sort of beginner friendly drop shipping videos to get you guys started on your journey to building a successful brand please do let me know in the comments down below but other than that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video